Hello everyone, I am Josh Zimmer. I am a Let's Player on YouTube. For anyone who hasn't watched this channel and is brand new to the content it is just now tuning in. On this channel, I do family friendly content with family friendly commentary that benefits all ages from babies all the way to elders. This channel has a variety of games such as Nintendo, the wonderful Lego franchise, and other family friendly titles such as Fallout, Civilization, the Batman Arkham series such as Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City, and Batman Arkham Knight. And we also showcase the wonderful EA Sports series Madden and My two main Smash Bros. fighters are Fox McCloud and Sonic the Hedgehog. For anyone who has seen our last channel update, we've been recapping the games that we did in the past seasons. In the last channel update, we did Winter 2015 and That's basically it, and we also did most of Spring. In the last channel update, we left off with Madden FL25, which we were doing back in, I think, February, March, and April, since that lasted a while. So, let's start off a recap for... Spring and Summer 2015 We finished Madden FL 25 on April 14th And for anyone who doesn't know we did a Let's Play series on Super Smash Bros for Wii U in Winter 2015 And we are now currently doing bonus content so we released bonus video on Bowser, Marv, Samus, Amiibo Battle, Amiibo Battles, bonus video for Ike, and that consists of Five bonus videos for Smash Bros. after Madden FL 25 to get the channel all set up for Mario Party 10, which premiered on the channel on April 20th, 2015. Mario Party 10 lasted for eight parts. Set it's not a normal Mario game, it's just a party game that you're supposed to play with your friends. But since I'm a Let's Player, and the only friends I have are friends from church and my bio study groups, and they're usually way too busy hanging out with me every week for this stuff, so I mostly did the single player stuff on Mario Party 10. After Mario Party 10, we did four bonus videos on Super Smash Bros. for Wii U to get ready for our next Let's Play series after that. We did a bonus video on Robin, Lucario, and Greninja. And, and in late April 2015 slash early May 2015, Nintendo released a special DLC character for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. 
This was the first DLC character for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. This DLC character was Mewtwo. And it was a huge smash hit with very reviews. After that, we started off and premiered Lego Batman on May 3rd, 2015 to start off our wonderful, huge Summer 2015 event. Summer 2015 Extravaganza of Awesomeness, which started off with Mewtwo. And Lego Batman was the first new game on the channel that started the event off. Lego Batman got mostly around 5 to 10 views. But after a while, it jumped up on views at bed with part 1 at 34 views. Okay, after le we finished up Lego Batman with 15 parts, Nintendo released a special global test fire gameplay demo for Splatoon on May 18, 2015. Actually, the demo was on May 17, 2015, and that's when I recorded the gameplay footage. It premiered on my channel on May 18, 2015 at 1 o'clock p.m. And after we split in Global Test Fire, we went to our second main game for summer 2015 event. Lego Parts of Caribbean. The videos were mostly worldwide, but we had a big copyright issues. Well, the videos were viewable in the United States, but they were blocked in some countries such as Germany. And Lego Parts of Caribbean went through Brubigate smoothly, but at our regular part 19, we had a couple of technical issues with rendering and commentary. So we had to scrape original part 19, which was going to make the game to be finished at 20 parts. But because of the issues, we had to finish Lego Parts of Caribbean at 90 parts and make the originally recorded part 20 be the new part 19. And on June 9, 2015, we announced on the channel that we were now supporting PC games for Let's Play series. We Correspond the announcement with the power and the dead GeForce 940 and video to showcase the power of a graphics card that have in my current laptop at Asus X555LB. We showcase the power with the Sims 4 at max settings at 1920 by 1000. Okay, after that, we had Come on YouTube, load a bit faster
Okay, after the power of the G4 Sniper MV, uh, we premiered our next big game for our summer 2015 event, Splatoon, which premiered on June 10th, 2015 at 9 for even morning. Splatoon was... Splatoon was 20 parts long. And Splatoon was successful in terms of views, but but not as successful as Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, so we slowed down on bonus videos a bit for Splatoon since with Splatoon, it's kind of a bit hard to get bonus video ideas that were not exactly like our videos you push out because for the Splatoon series we did multiplayer turf war battles on my nice server since we were scanning for big YouTube videos that were already pushed out for Splatoon and we noticed that other left players such as PK Sparks blah blah LPs Cobra My 456 and Soy Pones and some other last players did their series on single player mode and they like a separate main, main series for multiplayer. So we want to be unique on the channel by doing an entire let's play series on multiplayer turf war batches on online servers. So after the main series of Splatoon finished at my part, we did our first bonus video for Splatoon by showcasing the store animations for Inkling Girl, which was super successful at our 42 views currently. And we wanted to capitalize on the Fallout 4 high from E3 2015. So we did our opinions and concerns video for Fallout 4, which it did successful at 220 views. But it turns the likes and dislikes for two viewers like the video and seven or dislike the video, which I say it was successful, but in terms of the Fallout community, it wasn't successful since we were just talking about our opinions and concerns based on the teaser trailer with the teaser trailer beginning the video and random game screenshots. Okay, and then... On June 30th, yeah, Nintendo released more DLC characters for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. They released Roy, Ryu, and Lucas. Roy is from Fire Emblem, Ryu is from Street Fighter, and Lucas is from Earthbound. And then after the bonus Smash Bros. video, we premiered our next huge blockbuster game for our summer 2015 event lego drastic world on july 1st 2015 which is basically like a version of all drastic park movies that are currently out lego drastic park one through three and drastic world Lego Jurassic World was 20 parts long. And it was a huge success on the channel. We also did a couple more bonus videos as well during that time period in July 2015. We did a 
Fallout 3 bonus video versus Steel vs. Enclave, which ended up at RT views and one dislike. It was to wrap up Fallout 3 with a huge battle between Brotherhood Steel vs. Enclave. Since we had trouble recording it past when we were doing Fallout 3, and then I with updated Oh god, a software of a new computer, we could finally record it. We also did a bonus video on Splatoon for Tower Control Mode, which was successful at 18 views. After LEGO Jurassic World, we wanted to improve the audio quality settings for our video since they were already at 1920 by 1080 with 30 frames per second. And we researched that when you render a video with higher audio quality, like 384 kilobytes per second instead of the base Sony Vegas render settings or are you at 221 YouTube uses the audio data for 384 kilobytes per second at their upload process so videos will use the audio data uh, 384 instead of 221, so after like a Jurassic World, our video switched over 384 kilobytes per second for audio data. And after that, we did a couple more bonus videos for Smash Bros. Since Nintendo released some new DLC stages such as Dreamland 64. Suzaku Castle and Miiverse, which Suzaku Castle can wear for you when you buy the DLC character. A separate for Dreamland 64 and Miiverse Capri with a patch. Then after that, we did a special Fox the Cloud Versus series for the DLC characters. We did Fox Big Cloud vs. Mewtwo, Fox Big Cloud vs. Lucas, Fox Big Cloud vs. Roy, and Fox Big Cloud vs. Ryu, which it will be continuing whenever Nintendo releases more DLC characters until they're finished. And then, we're at the end of our recap. We finished our summer 2015 event with the huge blockbuster game Batman Arkham Asylum which finished yesterday at 28 parts. Now since our recap is over and we're fully caught up on the history of the channel so far, we're here to introduce our next section of the channel update. In terms of Fall 2015, starting on the first day of September, okay? just see, starting off in the our Fall 2015 event in September, we have Civilization 5, our first. PC game series on the channel since we've announced that we ported PC games on the channel now. And let's play series format. And in October, we're getting the sequel Fallout 3. 
Retail, developed by Bethesda and City Entertainment's Fallout New Vegas. For Fallout New Vegas, we'll be playing through the entire base story mode until we get to the New Vegas Strip, so we'll be stopping the series when we get to Freeside. After Fallout New Vegas, in the second half of October, since Fallout New Vegas is only going to be 20 parts long, we have Five Nights at Freddy's, which is another PC game on the channel and will consist of five parts and will consist of us going through night one and two of the game. It will be filled with jump scares, horrors, and creepiness as I get scared to death by the crazy animatronics known as Bray Fazbear, Chica, Bonnie, Foxy, And it will be such a scary game that will commentary style will be way different because commentary will be like the lower pitch and will sound different because I'll be scared by all animatronics and I'll be trying to concentrate on the game at the same time. After Five Nights at Freddy's. Will be starting on November 2015 with Sonic Generations. Xbox 360 game featuring our favorite Speedy Blue Hedgehog that was showcased in the Super Smash Bros. for Wii U series Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog will be speeding through various stages while trying to save his friends from the Time Eater. And now in terms of more Batman on the channel, we have Lego Batman coming back in Lego Dimensions in December 2015. I have pre-ordered Lego Dimensions which is like a hundred dollars at retail for the game disc with a game box and the special artwork and special Lego bricks for the for the minifigure base and free minifigures. So that's about a hundred dollars and it will be coming out on September 27, 2015, which in that time period I should get the game in the mail and then I'll be recording the video footage of the story mode. And the Lego Dimensions won't be on my channel until December 2015, which will wrap up 2015 on the channel. Since it will be like only 14 parts long. And I think like I did mention will be getting bonus videos as well since. Since Traveler's Tales and more Brothers games are releasing special minifigure packs which unlock. New level is for the game. So I pre ordered the minifigure packs for Lego like, uh, Doctor Who, and so you'll be getting bonus videos on that sometime in 2016 if I remember. Since the first Lego like, uh, Doctor Who minifigure pack doesn't come out till like November, and the second one doesn't come out till January 2016. 
after like a dimensions, the other Batman focus we have on the channel that's coming up is Batman Arkham City. Which is the sequel of Batman Arkham Asylum and continues the story from Batman Arkham Asylum that was set during that game. Batman Arkham City will be 31 parts long and will premiere on the channel sometime in 2016. You want to stay up there on Batman Arkham City and other games for the channel that are coming up in later 2015 and in the future. Stay updated to YouTube, Twitter, and the Let's Play Subreal on Read It 16. This channel update has been sponsored by Nintendo and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.